Welcome back. Let's look at list. All right. So we've covered numbers, which is integer, floats, and the like. We also cover strings. That's another second data type. Now the third type that we want to look at is called a list. All right. In the list part here, we're going to cover a few things: the learning outcomes. Uh, we want to know how do you create list. How do you index and slice? Notice that these are the same concept as string, except that we are working with lists rather than strings now. So let's start with this. So to in order to create a list, uh, you use a square bracket. Okay, and what we're doing here is that we are creating the list, which is two, four, six, eight, ten, and then we're assigning this to the variable called list of numbers. Okay, so let's just print this, and there you have it. Okay, so when you actually try to actually um, just have a line which says list of numbers, the variable name, what it will do, what it will do uh, is to actually give you the output of what the actual value is. Now the beauty of the list is that you, you can index it and also slice it, very similar to um, string that we looked at in the last lesson. So if we index two. Okay, that means is 0, 1, 2 is the value number 6. Minus 1, as we know from last time, is the last value. 2 to 5, remember it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that gives you 6, 8, and 10. Uh, what happens if we actually add? Well, they basically add the actual list onto the list itself. So it extends the list now 246810 and then 246810. It doesn't add them together. All right? It just extends it. Now one thing to bear in mind is that lists are mutable unlike strings whereby with strings you can't change it. That's why it's called immutable. But with list it is mutable. You can actually change it. So the contents can be modified. So let's just print a fresh copy of list of numbers so that we can remember what list of numbers are. It's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So what we're doing here is that the list of number 2, we want to change or assign a different value of 44 to item number 2 or index number 2, 0, 1, 2. So basically we're looking to change 6 to 44. Okay. Right now we can't tell whether we've actually done it correctly or not. So we have to run this cell to be able to tell, oh, okay, it has indeed been changed successfully. You can also add value to the list or by extending it. Um, you use this method called append. We're trying to append 20 to the end of the list of numbers variables here. When you run that and look at the output, sure enough, it actually add another item onto the list itself. Right, the next thing we want to do is assignment of value to slices. All right, so let's look at uh, bring this up again so that just to refresh our memory. Okay, so what we are doing uh, is 0 to 2 is equal to m to n. Mm, okay, we haven't encountered this before. Let's run this and try to figure out what it's like. Remember what 0 double dash, uh, sorry, colon 2 means. It means that we are slicing 1. Sorry, 0 and 1. Okay, start with 0 and finish before 2. Okay, no errors. That's interesting because everything we have was numbers. Now we actually assigned 2 string and um, I didn't get any errors. So now I'm interested to know what is in this list of numbers now. So let's have a look and what you get is that, oh you're right, we can actually mix data types. So we have strings and also numbers all in this one list. And that's the beauty of list, is that you can actually combine multiple data types. So let's look at the next line of codes from 3 to 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So from 8, 10 to 20. So these three here, we're giving it an empty bracket. Um, hmm, I wonder what that means. It, let's just deduce this or assume, or not assume, let's just deduce this. I think is actually removing uh, 8, 10, and 20. So let's run that. Okay, again, no errors, and let's just print the value. And yes, our assumption or our guess actually comes true as that it is indeed a list of numbers, indeed uh, removing 3, 4, index 3, 4, and 5. Now, again, you can use the method len on list of numbers, 
and what you get is actually three. So that's actually a very useful method that you can use it again and again. Now you can actually nest a list, meaning a list contains within another list. All right, so uh, let's create uh, two lists. One is the M, one is the N. And notice that we are actually putting M and N into a square bracket. Remember how we create a list is to use square bracket. So we're doing this and store it into P. I wonder what P looks like now. And there you go. What you get in terms of P is that you have a list, two lists within the list. All right, so um, that's the interesting part. So what happened if I actually index zero? I get the first list here, or index zero. Index one then must be 6624.10. So what if I actually want to access Mary? Uh, what I can do is is using index zero and point to um, number two. Actually, zero one two is more likely to be Joseph. And there you have it. And that's really how you actually access the value within a value. Okay, it's just basically by using uh, two index because right now we have list within a list. All right, so that's a really gentle introduction to list. Uh, I'm gonna end there when we come back. We're just gonna go into first steps towards programming um, and just to give you a general flow and idea of how things works.